Friends, today we are starting a virtual tour on Mac OS and shall discuss the most basic features a person would use in a daily life while working on a MacBook. So most of most of y'all must have heard of Microsoft and their flagship softwares, PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. Uh, the Apple has something similar to offer, and uh, it's Mac Page. The software or application is called Page which is very similar to the one in uh, Microsoft that's called Words. So we'll open it, we'll go through it, how to make documents. So, so this is a little bit of what you see in pages. You could choose templates and there are, there are so many dialogues here, all basic reports. So this is, if you go to all, you'll be able to see everything. So over here you see reports. So these templates you could use to write reports. Then there are books portraits that you could simply grab and start editing. And there is like landscape, the book covers. So you could basically go go anywhere and just double click it. And then, you know, this, this screen would appear. You can start typing something like uh, anything, anything that you want to type here, jumbo elephant, and then just hit save and, or go back and use. So I have used, uh, so you could just save it, but I have no use for it, so I deleted it. And then you could just uh, go to Agenda. You could see Mac OS Tutorials Part 1, and, and then this thing you could... So this is September 1st, name of the channel, video little things, Mac OS Tutorials Part 1, using pages on Mac OS. This is, this is uh, version 10.14.6 for Mac operating system and using pages on Mac OS. That's what we can discuss extracting the documents. So how you can extract, so you could go to file, go to export and export as PDF. So once you export it PDF, you, you click next. So once you click next, you could save it anywhere on the desktop. So one of the PDF versions that I have saved here is like over here agenda. I already did that. and. And you see here, this is a PDF in front of you. So you could do different things. You could uh, definitely convert into document that is open in Word. And then we're also going to hover over this agenda. By the way, um, I used pages to create it. So so that's, uh, that's uh, something that you could do too. Now we'll move on to our next software that's numbers. So yeah numbers and then we click here we could just say new document you could create a blank a checklist a budget or we could even use these templates something for loan comparison net worth overview monthly goal and mortgage calculator i like this one mortgage calculator let's try that so let's say you have a purchase price of uh, i don't know why there's a rupee sign in there but yeah you could convert that sign to dollar and then 300,000 let's say you made a 50% deposit you made a 50% deposit on a 3.25% and let's say you want to change your mortgage length to 30 years and and basically you could do different things so I think we should just have kept it ruby so you could definitely make those changes and those changes would be reflected in the rest of the Excel sheets. So I'm sure you could do, but then you'll have to change all the programming here. And then it also takes you, it also accounts for monthly tax savings, which is not available on all locations and tax rate could differ as per your monthly income too. So these are some cool things that we could do using pages. Of course, there is a blank, uh, a spreadsheet sort of view that that numbers offer not pages numbers offers and you could also save it delete it i don't want it i deleted it and there's a small comparison that i did for you guys so so compatibility pages could import a word document into into pages so if you're working on microsoft word you could import the document into pages and work on it word is industry standard for creating and editing your documents Keynote, Keynote is a likewise, it's, it's a num, you know, it reflects PowerPoint. It's very similar to what PowerPoint does. But then using key, Keynote, when you're using PowerPoint on a MacBook, it lets you save the presentations to create and open in Keynote. It's only, 
only available for Mac and no Windows version is there. You can create presentations, use QuickTime to spread and share it quickly. There's no purchase required because earlier this, this was $80 software. This, this whole thing was $80 and then it was priced lower to $20. But now it's free. So of course, go out there and take you know a good use of it. There is also, as, as you all know, PowerPoint is one of the top drawer presentation program or software that runs both on PC and Mac. Whenever you're using it on Mac, there might be some cases when it gets unexpectedly close due to formatting or, or due to similar type of uh, due to a lot of data or, or n number of reasons while work while using PowerPoint on your MacBook. So whenever you're using using these Microsoft products on MacBook, it had always been, you know, some problems you might have got into on MacBook. It's it's just something that's that's not very seamless. But with Keynote it's free and, and there are, you can create presentation, use QuickTime to uh, spread it. You can also download presentations in Keynote format, but then these Keynote presentations would not, you'd not be able to work on these Keynote um, presentations onto Windows because there is, it's only available for Mac. Whereas PowerPoint and, and other Office products, these are, these are compatible with PC, Mac, Android, iOS and and also offers, let's say Office offers you um, OneDrive, Skype services, things like that. And if you go to the commercial side, or there are different plans. Like if you're opting for a personal plan in Microsoft, you're supposed to pay $99 a year for using the whole Office Office package. That is, and that is Microsoft PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and answered in like access and things like that. Whereas if you're using it for your business, then you have to pay $8.25 per user per month. So it's, it's pretty expensive. And for pages, keynote numbers, this, 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 pages, keynote numbers, earlier there, you used to pay for it because you can only get it if you're paying for Mac OS. So any Mac item. Now there is no purchase required. You, you don't have to like, down, you don't have to, buy out a Mac device in order to get it. You could just go to your app store and download it for free. So that's one thing. And where, when it comes to numbers, uh, it, it provides basic functionalities, provides templates as, as we saw the mortgage example. But in Excel, the Microsoft version of it, it could do pretty heavy calculations, graphic tools, macro programming that was that is visual basics. And then it could do pivot tables, things like that. So it's 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 an industry standard supports programming to great lengths, and and you could create, edit, view, manage, share. It's a very powerful tool. You could do sharing using the online version for Excel. So now coming back to this is how we use uh, Excel, and now coming back to the keynote. That's that's one last item we are left with for today's presentation, and now we come into keynote. Double click it, say new document. Then you get all these standard and wide. So standard presentation, my presentation. This is a showroom. You want you want to do a showroom presentation. You want to do a photo essay. You want to do an editorial. So different templates available here. You could just double click anything and you can start working on it. It's very similar to PowerPoint. Uh, and then there is one of the PDF that I created using this. It says, thank you for joining subscribe us for more videos so guys this these are three applications that we discussed today are very similar to microsoft word excel and powerpoint this is pages numbers and keynote for mac so this is uh, this is all for today thank you so much for joining in we'll be back with more software knowledge more applications and if you guys are interested in knowing specific details on working on MacBook software applications or PowerPoint or, or Microsoft applications, feel free to comment us and do like us, do subscribe us. Thank you. Thank you.